HTML5 basic tags part 2 so here we will be inserting uh, anchor link href this is the source file wherein we will be using a, an internal link a part of the page and this is the anchor text yeah this is the text that is displayed on the link and this is the end link and anchor link so as we can see what we are going to do here is to create an href an internal id or name which is number sign footer and it will display jump to the next photo to bottom jump to bottom so we will go at the footer part of the documents so you have to type here jump to the next to the bottom yeah and it will be displayed here yeah so this is our link that is connected to the footer or the bottom part of the uh, link so when you click this it will go to the bottom part of the page uh, we just have to correct this whole line all right okay let us test if it's working so we still have to correct this one the spelling is wrong yeah so when you click that it will go to the footer which is at the bottom here Yeah. So, target blank, it means that uh, you will be prompt to a new window. So, we will be removing that since we're not going to another window. So, we are just linking internal within our page. Okay, that's it. We're done with the anchor link. Okay, next, this one, we will be creating a link. So, this is, in paragraph P, we will be inserting a link wherein we can see view more cut photos. So right there, we need to create an anchor link here that says view more photos. Yeah, and so we'll just copy this link. And put it right here. So this time, href is pointing to a, a URL or a web page. Then you can see we have your target blank. So it means that the web page will be opened in a new blank window. Then this time, we'll make this an idle href. So here, it is a hashtag symbol or a dead link. So meaning it is not linked to anything. So it's a dead link using just the hashtag. Next, we are going to create the an ordered list. UL means an ordered list. 
So, in this example, we will be creating an ordered list for three elements. So, we should do it within our P object or within our paragraph. So, first, we have to remove the other paragraphs and type in your UL. Yan. So, UL and ordered list. So, this is for bullets and bulleting. LI means list. If you want to create uh, bullets. And so, uh, we just copy that and uh, modify three things. The cut slab. Yeah, so this is the output. So we have here three bullets for our three words. Next, we'll be creating ordered list or numbered list. Yeah, and so in numbered list, so we have here OL, ordered list, and then the list. LI again, and then the text, and LI. So there you have it. So we have the numbered list. Next, we're going to create input elements or the form elements. Okay, so after the numbered list, so we have here the input type is equals text. So the type of the input um, element or tag is text. So it is a text box. Placeholder, cut photo URL. So, so this is the word that will be displayed on the object. Like in this example, so, input type text is a text box. Placeholder is the text that is displayed within the text box. Okay, next, we're going to create form. Form can do action or perform action like instance like for instance the action of this form is to proceed to a web page which is precutphotoapp.com and and submit cut photo Next, we're going to create a button. So, the parts of a button. So, the keyword or the tag is button. The type is submit. And this button submits the form. So, this is the text or the label. And, of course, this is end button. Like in this example, button, the type is submit. And then, our button text is also submit. So, this is what we can see here. The submit button. So, when you click the submit button, it will go to the pre app.com to submit a photo. So, we have here form action and we have nested within the form our uh, form elements. And this is the end form. Next is creating the 
radio button. So, to create a radio button, so we need here an input. Then, ID is like an identifier. So, it is like a, an ID or a name that represents uh, this object, which is a radio button. Then, the type is radio. Name is equals indoor, outdoor. This is a variable name. Then, the label is indoor. Yeah, and so, label for indoor is this one. Next, we're going to create uh, two radio buttons. So, we have here two radio buttons for indoor and outdoor as our choices for buttons. And we're going to create checkboxes. So, we will create three checkboxes for yeah, uh, the label for its uh, checkboxes has its own label. So, we have loving, lazy, and what else do we have here? And energetic. So, the each um, checkbox has different ID, which is loving. The type of check, checks, checkbox then the name is personality. So, all of these three uh, choices has the same name, which is personality. But all of them has this different label. ID and value. We will also add value, which the value is also the same as the, the label. So, it will be used in uh, further programming. The value that it will hold or it will contain. So that's it. We have created uh, two radio button. So we have indoor or outdoor and three checkboxes for loving, lazy, and energetic. Next, we will identify the selected. So, at each item, we will choose or select by default one of the options or choices. So, we can do that by putting check as part of the attribute. So, like here, the first uh, radio button. So, we will add check. Yeah, and so within the uh, input, so we will add check as the uh, default value. So without that, without check, therefore the value will be unchecked. Okay, next we will be adding a doc type. Yeah. And so, it is used to determine that an HTML document is a document of type HTML. The document is of type HTML.